In our exploration of being within quantum events, we begin by understanding the fundamental nature of reality. Reality at its core is not as solid and unchanging as our senses would have us believe. It fluctuates, dances, and exists in a multitude of states simultaneously. This is the bedrock upon which we shall build our understanding. Quantum events are phenomena that occur at the subatomic level, where the traditional laws of physics do not always apply. Particles can exist in multiple places at once, can be entangled over vast distances, and their properties do not settle into a single state until they are observed. This quantum behavior suggests a universe that is far more interconnected and fluid than we could have ever imagined. As we consider our place within this quantum landscape, we must shift our perspective from one of separation to one of profound interconnectedness. We are not merely observers of the universe. We are participants in its unfolding story, co-creators of the reality we experience. Every thought, every intention, every action we take has the potential to influence the quantum field that underlies all of existence. Consider for a moment the concept of the observer effect in quantum mechanics. It suggests that the act of observing a quantum system can change it. Now, if we translate this to our lives, we realize that where we direct our attention has power. What aspects of your life do you choose to observe? What do you focus on? And how does this focus alter your experience? Let us then take this understanding and apply it to our inner world. Our thoughts and emotions are like the particles studied in quantum mechanics. They exist in a superposition of states until they are observed by our conscious awareness. By choosing to observe a thought or emotion, we bring it into reality. We give it power and we set the stage for action. This leads us to the practical advice of mindfulness. By being mindful of our thoughts and emotions, we can observe them without becoming entangled in them. We can acknowledge their presence, understand their nature, and then guide them towards more constructive patterns. This is the essence of emotional alchemy, the transmutation of base emotional responses into enlightened states of being. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lessons. Now, we must consider the implications of entanglement. In quantum mechanics, entanglement refers to the phenomenon where two particles become linked and the state of one instantaneously influences the state of the other, regardless of distance. This teaches us a powerful lesson about our connections with others and the world around us. We are entangled with every person we meet, every place we visit, and every experience we have. This entanglement means that our actions have ripple effects far beyond our immediate perception. It is here that we find the wisdom in considering the consequences of our actions, not just for ourselves, but for the collective. When you make choices, do you consider how they affect the web of life you are part of? The quantum world shows us that even the smallest action can have far-reaching consequences. Furthermore, quantum superposition, the principle that allows particles to be in multiple states at once, can be a metaphor for the potential within us. We often think of ourselves as fixed beings with certain attributes and capabilities, but what if we, like particles, can exist in a state of multiple potentials simultaneously? By embracing this idea, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and opportunities for growth. This brings us to the practical advice of embracing uncertainty. When we face uncertainty in our lives, instead of reacting with fear or anxiety, we can see it as a field of possibilities. By accepting that we do not know what will happen, we allow ourselves to be open to a range of outcomes, some of which may be more beneficial than we could have planned for.
In this first part of our exploration, we have laid the foundation by understanding the interconnected and fluid nature of reality as described by quantum mechanics. We've seen how this applies to our lives through the power of observation, the implications of entanglement, and the potentiality of superposition. We've drawn practical advice from these concepts, such as the practice of mindfulness and the embracing of uncertainty. Quantum Intentions Weaving the Fabric of Reality with Conscious Choice In the second part of our exploration into the truth of being within quantum events, we focus on the transformative power of intention. Just as in quantum mechanics, the intention behind an experiment can influence its outcome. In the tapestry of our lives, the intentions we set guide the unfolding of our personal narratives. Intention is the directed impulse of consciousness that influences the physical world. It is the seed of thought from which actions grow, the breath that gives life to our desires. Unlike a wish or a hope, an intention is an active commitment to manifest a particular outcome, coupled with the belief and motivation to see it through. Consider the process of setting an intention. It is not a passive act but a conscious choice. We decide what we aim to achieve, and in doing so, we direct our energy towards that aim. This act alone has the power to alter the course of our quantum events, the myriad possibilities that play out in the fabric of our existence. But how does one set an intention effectively? It begins with clarity. You must be clear about what you want to achieve, why you want it, and how it aligns with your deepest values and purpose. The clearer your intention, the more potent its influence on the quantum field. There is also the matter of consistency. An intention is not a one-time statement, but a continual reaffirmation of purpose. It is the steady drumbeat to which the dance of your life moves. By regularly focusing on your intention, you reinforce its power giving it the strength to manifest in the physical world. Now, we must explore the concept of coherence. In quantum mechanics, coherence refers to the alignment of the phases of a wave function, which allows for the manifestation of clear, ordered states. In our lives, coherence between our thoughts, emotions, and actions is essential for the realization of our intentions. When these elements are in harmony, we create a resonance that amplifies our ability to manifest our desires. The practical advice here is to cultivate inner coherence. This can be achieved through practices such as meditation, which aligns our thoughts and feelings, or through rituals that reinforce our intentions. By creating coherence within ourselves, we not only enhance our well-being but also increase the efficacy of our intentions. An important aspect of intention is detachment from the outcome. While this may seem counterintuitive, it is a powerful stance. In quantum experiments, the outcome cannot be predicted with certainty. Similarly, in life, we must allow for the flow of the universe to carry our intentions to fruition in its own way and time. This brings us to the question of surrender. Can you set a clear and powerful intention and then release your attachment to how and when it will manifest. The ability to do so is a testament to trust, not a passive resignation, but an active trust in the dynamic interplay of the cosmos. Let us also consider the role of intuition in setting and following through with intentions. Intuition is our inner guidance system, the voice of our higher self that knows which intentions align with our true path. By tuning into our intuition, we can set intentions that not only serve our individual desires, but also contribute to the greater good. The practice of tuning into intuition can be as simple as taking moments of silence to listen, or as complex as engaging in deep introspective practices that reveal the subtle undercurrents of our psyche. By honoring our intuition, we align our intentions with the universal flow, ensuring that our actions are in harmony with the larger quantum field. 
In this second part, we have dived deep into the transformative power of intention. We've learned how to set intentions with clarity and purpose, the importance of coherence, the art of detachment, and the guidance of intuition. These principles serve as a compass for navigating the quantum events of our lives, steering us towards our true north. Reflect on how your intentions have shaped your life's journey thus far. Can you see the threads of your intentions woven into the fabric of your experiences? The Symphony of Synchronicities Harmonizing with the Cosmic Orchestra Synchronicities are those moments when the universe seems to conspire to bring about an event that is deeply meaningful to us, though it may appear coincidental to the external observer. They are the unexpected yet perfectly timed occurrences that seem to echo our thoughts, intentions, and inner states. These are the signposts of the universe, the winks from the cosmos that reassure us we are on the right path or nudging us to reconsider our direction. To understand synchronicities, we must first accept that the universe is not a random, mechanistic construct but a living, breathing entity that responds to the vibrations we emit. Our thoughts, steeped in emotions and reinforced by our actions, send out ripples that resonate through the fabric of space-time. Synchronicities are the echo of those ripples, the universe's response to our energetic call. But how do we attune ourselves to recognize and interpret these synchronicities? It begins with awareness. We must cultivate an acute sense of presence, becoming keen observers of the world around us and the subtle nuances that most would overlook. This heightened awareness allows us to perceive the interconnectedness of all things and the way in which our inner world is reflected in our outer experiences. Next, we must consider the language of the universe. Unlike our spoken languages, the universe communicates through symbols, numbers, patterns, and timing. Learning to interpret this language is akin to learning to read the script of your life. When you encounter a synchronicity, take a moment to reflect on its potential meaning. What were you thinking or feeling at that moment? What is the deeper message or lesson being conveyed? Let us also explore the role of trust in the dance of synchronicities. Trust in the universe and in the unfolding of your own journey is paramount. It is the fertile soil in which the seeds of synchronicities can sprout. When we trust, we open ourselves to the flow of experiences and insights that are meant for us, even if they don't align with our preconceived plans or timelines. Moving from trust, we arrive at the practice of gratitude. Gratitude is the acknowledgement of the gifts we receive both big and small. When we express gratitude for the synchronicities that grace our lives, we create a feedback loop of positive energy. This not only enhances our well-being, but also signals to the universe our readiness to receive more such guidance. Furthermore, synchronicities often invite us to take action. They are not just signs to be observed and marveled at. They are calls to action, prompts to take the next step on our path. When we act upon a synchronicity, we participate in a co-creative process with the universe, weaving our intentions and desires into the grand tapestry of existence. In this third part, the symphony of synchronicities, we have navigated the convergence of our inner and outer worlds through the recognition and interpretation of synchronicities. We've emphasized the importance of awareness, the language of the universe, trust, gratitude, and taking action. These elements together form a harmonious symphony, one that guides us through the quantum events of our lives with grace and wisdom. Contemplate how synchronicities have appeared in your life. Can you recall moments when the universe seemed to provide exactly what you needed at just the right time? Quantum Crescendo orchestrating destiny in the multiverse of choices. In this conclusive exploration, we delve into the concept of destiny as it unfolds within the vast expanse of the quantum multiverse, a realm where every choice branches into a new world, a new possibility, 
and, potentially, a new destiny. Here, we confront the ultimate question. Are we mere spectators in the unfolding drama of the cosmos, or are we active composers of our fate, capable of influencing the grand score of our lives? Destiny is often perceived as a preordained path, a script written by the hands of an unseen playwright. Yet, within the quantum perspective, destiny is fluid, dynamic, a myriad of potentialities that we navigate through our choices and intentions. Each decision we make acts as a conductor's baton, directing the next movement in the symphony of our existence. To harness the power of this quantum crescendo, we must first embrace the principle of empowered choice. Recognize that every moment presents a crossroads, an opportunity to choose a path that resonates with our deepest values and desires. It is in these moments of decision that we shape the melody of our lives. Awareness, as we have noted, is the key to recognizing these critical junctures. But beyond awareness, there is courage. The courage to make choices that may challenge the status quo, that may lead us into uncharted territories. It is in these acts of bravery that we often find the most profound growth and transformation. As we make these choices, we must also be mindful of the interconnectedness of all things. Our decisions do not echo in a vacuum. They ripple across the multiverse, affecting not only our reality but the fabric of the cosmos itself. By choosing with wisdom and compassion, we contribute to a harmonious, universal melody. Patience is another virtue we must cultivate on this journey. The manifestation of our choices may not be immediate. Like a seed planted in fertile soil, the fruits of our decisions need time to break through the surface and reach for the sunlight. Trust in the process and know that the universe operates not on our personal timelines but on a cosmic scale. In this final part, we must also acknowledge the role of surrender. To surrender is not to give up our power, but to acknowledge that there is a greater orchestration at play. It is the humble acceptance that while we may choose our notes and compose our bars, the symphony itself is far greater than the sum of its parts. In Quantum Crescendo, we come to understand that destiny is not a fixed point on the horizon, but a tapestry woven from the threads of our countless choices. It is an ever-evolving work of art that we contribute to with every thought, every intention, and every action. As we conclude this exploration, take a moment to reflect on the choices that have led you to where you are today. Consider the potential choices that lie before you. Now, how might they shape the next movement of your quantum crescendo? Embrace the power you hold within to orchestrate your destiny in this multiverse of choices. And with this reflection, we close the final chapter of our journey, carrying with us the wisdom, insights, and experiences that have illuminated our path. May your quantum crescendo resonate with purpose, harmony, and boundless possibility.